Muy buenas a todos chicos y chicas, bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo en el canal Seguimos con Games of Thrones Episodio 2 Bueno, vamos a ver qué nos depara este episodio Este... Bueno Sin más, empezamos No olvides también suscribirte al canal Darle like si te ha gustado el vídeo Y apoyarlo Apoyarlo para que llegue lejos y más gamers y más gamers se sumen a este canal muchísimas gracias por estar y vamos These are dark days, I fear. The North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong! The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. Uh, uh, Ethan. Uh. No! Don't let them take uh. me! Uh. Uh. My son. Whoa, it, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. Your ale's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. This place could use a good cleaning. I complain to the owner, except he's probably dead. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. It's blood. <laughs> nice having the place to ourselves, though. This was probably enough. Beska, is this from us? Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though.
Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Fragrant. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. A man of few words. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... Something or other. Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? I don't need whores. I've been told I'm quite handsome. Yeah. By whores. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To family. I'm sure I'd agree if I'd ever had one. You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again- Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is eight hundred. You get four. It's more than you deserve. <laughs> Give us eight hundred and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of Olvaleria. 
and we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you too. Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Bojos menomi jahoso kisikas! Alright, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of my sword? Kill them! Now! No, that's more like. Here's one! Come on! She couldn't pass me! You owe me one. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. Way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
sisters. That is so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. <laughs> Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Dustendale, oh, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men, and you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. <sighs> the Forrester? Lee. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump him in the river, then. <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. <laughs> Seven hours. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the Maester! Hurry! Fetch the Maester! Roderick! My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a poppy. Drink. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him... Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No! Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? You're stronger than when I left. Two years is a long time. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face... Tell them it don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare.
Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> you can, Dahlia. I know you can. <laughs> It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Who do you think I am? I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Roderick! Fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate!
New arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. <laughs> Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Wine's almost done, actually. We'll need another barrel. Tell Sir Duncan to make it Arbor Gold. <laughs> know what else I want? Lady Forrester. She's a widow. Yes. Is that him? 
has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> he's a had a run in with Walder Frey. And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a curse. Real shame about your leg, my lord. Don't let go of your sister now. What a disgrace. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. Let's go. 